Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hopefully, we're live now. Got to double check as always. Got to double check the first few seconds of the live stream. Probably looks a little weird when people watch back and like, what's he doing? Check and see if this is live. The first few, first few minutes. But let me see if it's good. It should be. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Today we're gonna be doing some Crutraxa testing. Um, waiting for the stream to start. Let's see. Should be good. Maybe. All right. Let me click it from Discord real quick. But how are you guys doing? If it is live, how are y'all doing? Um, are you pushing for some live arena stuff right now? Um, how have you been doing in live arena? You've been getting good wins. Let me refresh this. Okay. There we go. Sweet. So it's live now. I guess it waits until, I don't know. Either way, I couldn't find it for the first few seconds, but hey, we're here. Either way, we are here. Uh, maybe wait until 1030 before it actually put me live. Uh, Ming Xiao, welcome, welcome. Uh, today, we're going to do some Crutraxa building. Uh, my Crutraxa has been sitting useless, doing absolutely nothing for basically since I pulled her. Um, she's an interesting champion. She's a champion who I'm actually fairly scared of sometimes especially when using rotos um great a1 a1's really good attacks one enemy four times ignores 50 percent of the enemy's defense a2 hits hard gets you an extra turn chance to play some weekend which i'm not gonna build her for accuracy so really just her a1 which is gonna be good with cardiel good with necrit good aura as well so we're gonna see how she does maybe it's good maybe it's absolutely terrible i don't know but i think what i'm gonna do is actually take my George's gear just straight off of him and throw it on Crutraxa. He is low HP. I thought Crutraxa was actually pretty low HP, but she's really not. She actually has decent HP. Bad base defense, though. Like, very bad base defense. But either way, let's go ahead and swap his gear over. Uh, this should be a decent a decent comparison. Well, I'm not going to compare her necessarily to George because George is crazy insane. Like, he's amazing. But I haven't been using them as much. I've been trying to mix up the nukers. Maybe to help with some other players in case you're looking for something else to use in Live Arena, possibly. Um, he's, a, he's a pretty good speed right now, though. I like how fast he is. I think Crutraxa could do very well being similarly built. Maybe even use Gofford with her. Because Gofford's a champion who I, who I have built. Try and test him out a little bit. So then a shield. And then we go for the accessory. So... We're gonna go attack, get some speed, uh, maybe. Let's see, attack percent. So this one's okay. I know I got some good stuff on my Kandrophon. My Hefrak, okay, so a little bit extra speed. Don't need that much. She's 250, that's perfectly fine, honestly. 250 is plenty. So as far as the ring goes, I might just use my um, Hefrak's ring. Not a ton of attack, to be honest. What's going on, Butcher? How you doing? I wonder what I can get with attack percentage boots. I like these actually a lot. We lose a little bit of crit damage. We lose a little bit of speed. She's still fast. But we gain quite a bit of attack. Yeah, let's go, let's go with this. We really need her to hit hard. So 231, which is okay speed. Nothing like out of this world crazy, but it should it should do okay. It should do okay. Let's go ahead and start. We're uh, 1490, super close to 1499. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we should get there definitely, definitely today into silver two. Currently ranked 484. Would love to push that back into 300s. Maybe even better than that. Oh, okay. A level 82 to start the day off. Level 82 at 1463 points. Dang it, dude's been grinding. Dude's been grinding hard. So we'll actually, we'll start off the pick with, uh, let's do Dutch. Uh, I kind of want to mix it up, but in a way I, I don't really want to. Let's start with Cardiel. My Cardiel, I like his build. Uh, what pace is solid for nukers in Live Arena? I've really been trying to build my nukers fast for Live Arena. Like, I build them way faster than I used to. So a Harima plus a UDK. I don't care about UDK with Crutraxa. Harima, I do care about. So let's go Necrit plus, we'll throw in Crutraxa. Actually, yeah, let's go, I don't know where she's at though. Let's find her. There we go, here she is. 
I think she's definitely going to smack, though. I really need Duchess in here. I need a Duchess in my Necrit kind of as well because I have to make sure I have a bolster set. If I don't have a bolster set, I'm just dead. Hey, Hawkeye, welcome. How are you doing? But for me, Butcher, I've been trying 215 plus with all my nukers in Live Arena. 215 plus. That's what they've been. Okay, so he's gonna he has to pick a damage dealer at the very end. Um, Rodos could be scary potentially. Uh, if he picks Rodos, I really want to go. I really, really want to go um, Duchess. But if he goes Rodos, let's go. Let's go Mighty Uko. Where is this dude at? Mighty Uko's at least, at least okay versus this team. And then we go Mighty Uko plus Kandrafon. If he goes Rotos, this is at least decent options. He's probably going to ban Mighty Uko because then I have no res champion. Um, if he goes, okay, more to Macabre. Interesting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he's just going to, he's going to make sure my Mighty Uko stays, basically. With that said... That's actually a really smart play. Though I think I can just target around him pretty easily. I want to get rid of Harima. Oh, he gets rid of my Crutraxa. That's 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 the whole point of today's video was Crutraxa. Dang it. Gets a silver two today after winning eight games straight. Okay, nice, nice. But once you got there... Out of the four matches you played, your opponent had an average player power of 32 million. Holy crap. That is crazy, dude. Got to get rid of more two. He's going to come back to bite me for sure. If I can wait it out a little bit, though, I may just be able to work around him, though, honestly. I'm pretty sure I can one-shot this Uko. If I keep the Veil on Kandrafon, he's not going to die to more two. Okay, so get some buffs up here. That uh oh, this is gonna be a little bit sketchy. The Pythian doesn't have any buffs on him right now, though. I think we just wait. Um, I think we just hit him hit him once, right? Nah, we, we, we have to do twice. The chance of taking the stone skin off was too good. Come on, Peril, here it comes. Yeah, well, the ally attack on Pythion, he didn't have no buffs. So it wouldn't have killed him, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, the swift parry saved me. I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Uh, Fearsome Presence, or the extra accuracy on Uko and Sunset. It depends on how much accuracy you have. If your accuracy, if you have a hard time getting it up high, then go the accuracy. Um, I would shoot for, my goal is 300. Um, I don't know what mine's at exactly, but I would shoot for somewhere around there. So this A2, he, I can definitely get back around to his ability. So let's use the A2. Okay. If we get a stun off of the Mortu, it's going to be awesome. We kill the Pythion here though, for sure. Got the stun on the Mortu. I think it's GG's from here. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. A little bit sketchy. A little bit sketchy for sure. Okay, 600 accuracy and 285 speed. Okay, wow. So you got plenty of accuracy. Definitely fearsome presence then. All right, we got a plat player here. Or at least one time a plat play, sir. A Seafy. All right. So... Rotos possibly coming. I would love to see a Rotos. Let's go. Let's go Cardiel and Duchess. Probably going to have Necrid in here later. But if there's a Rotos, we just go UDK. What's up, Owen? How you doing? Okay, Harima plus Rotos. All right, I like what I see so far. Um, actually, I don't like it that much, but... With this, I'm really... Okay. There's there's one champion that he could play that I would really, really hate. Let's go UDK. Actually, 
Actually, not to the back. I don't think there is. And then we'll go Crutraxa. You struggle less against plat players than the mysterious level 85s with all the blessings in silver. Yeah, it's, it's pretty strange, isn't it? There's uh, definitely some... I've had a few players who are those low levels, but somehow they have, like, empowered champions, a bunch of... I, mean, I know how they do. They just really like the credit card stuff. That was a champion I was really hoping wasn't going to be here, which is Yumiko. Especially considering I kind of have to ban her. I'm not as worried, though, about Yumiko. Warlord's more annoying because he... Lowers my turn meter, which really sucks. Um, then we go Rotos here. He's going to ban UDK. 100%. I got to get rid of Harima. If he doesn't ban UDK, then I definitely win. If he bans UDK, then he, he can possibly win. There we go. I should put Duchess in the lead, actually. You two told me we were alive this time. Hey, sweet. Awesome. You was worried Gamer and Block revived me? But I'm alive. I sure am. Sure am. Dang. We might be able to kill the Rotos, though, with the uh, Crew Track set. I don't know how hard she hits. Oh, I don't think I changed her masteries, either. She's probably going to sleep the Crutraxa. Weird timings on his stuff. I wonder if he's watching the stream. Let's go extra turn, possibly. Be sick. Yeah, Brogny Pick is something you don't see every day. Can 100% kill the Rotos here. I maybe will kill a Sifi as well. I don't know if I can. I kind of want to risk it though. Let's go for it. Yo, Crutraxa deleted her. She 100% deleted the Sifi. I don't know what the Rotos did as far as damage, but I think they both did some pretty crazy damage. Let's see what she does to this Rotos. Okay. Chunked his HP pretty well. Um, he's getting an extra turn here. But I really need to steal that HP. Going to go for a kill probably on... But we'll, we'll just see what he does. Hey, what's going on, Saws? How you doing? We have to be fine, right? Like, we have the A1 that can kill this Rotos. I want Crew Tracks to get another turn, though, really. I want to see. Oh, I, did, I, I wish they had the the thing where I can actually see the damage dealt at the end of the match. Because whenever this happens, whenever they leave, I just can't see it. I just get kicked out. Can't see the damage. I want to see what Crutraxa did. I feel like she hit pretty hard. Crutraxa and Lumos Annie are being slept on in Live Arena. All the hypes on Turvold as a single heart nuker. You can deal with UDK. Yeah, that's true. Turvold gets a lot of the focus. Little Miss Annie, I don't have her. Um, I've seen a few matches with her. Dang, this dude level 98 and 1511, I can almost guarantee Taras and Marichka. I guarantee it at very least he has Taras. Or he's just gonna, gonna make me AFK out of this, I don't know. I 100% expect a uh, Taras play though. Yeah, the Duchess and attack buff. My Duchess wasn't doing anything though. Like, if you have Necrit, Cardiel, they could work very well with Crutraxa as well. 
because her A1 hits so hard. My Duchess didn't even get a turn, though. Necrit, obviously, is amazing with her. I'm trying to not use Necrit every single match, though, because I know that not everybody has him. And he can make mediocre damage dealers look amazing. So... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So, Warlord plus Duchess. Where's my crew track set? And then... Fifteen hundred and above. That makes sense. That'd be good. I like to. I like to have some more difficult matches. But I'm surprised level ninety eight's in fifteen hundred. Honestly, it kind of says they have some either really good champions or just really good player, but probably really good champions. So Constantine, okay. Vlad is the next pick. I bet. So he's not going to pick a support. So I can go Rodos, right? Going to pick a damage dealer. Vlad, or Constantine does, does UDK counter him? I forget. I, I don't actually even know. We'll go Necrit, just because I don't know enough about Constantine's kit to know if UDK counters him. Do you think a fast or slow Necrit is a better choice? Ah, there's the Rotos pick. Kind of expected that to happen, honestly. He does AoE. I know he does AoE, but is it like his A1? Every is his Does he have two AoE abilities or one AoE ability? I know he has at least one, but his other one's like a triple hit, isn't it? So UDK's not really a counter, is he? Alright, so this is gonna be interesting. I can 100 percent delete the Pythion. I can Probably. Okay, so he's going to block Revive, though. That's really bad. Let's see if we can kill the Pythion, actually. I might not be able to. Maybe should have went for the Rotos. Yeah. Should have just went for the Rotos there. He probably wouldn't have had Reaction. And then Constantine... Can block revive on Demon Spawn, I believe. That actually chunked her uh, her stuff there pretty well. Yeah, Constantine's block revive. Two hit A one if they have a debuff. Two hit A O A two single hit. Okay, thank you. Only Cardiel will survive. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I think my crew tracks can take down this Duchess. If she gets a turn before Rodos, I think I can A2 and then A1 and kill the Duchess. Demon Spawn, Undead, and Night Revs. Okay. Actually, let's try to go for the Pythion. Because Rodo... Oh, no! I have no accuracy! How's that, how does that happen? Well, that's actually probably a net... Actually, good, because Constantine kills anyways. I'm going to try to do a long Hail Mary. See if we can kill Pythion? Hey, we got it. And now go for the A2 on Duchess. Duchess is dead here. Constantine can't block revive on a sheep though because he just breaks the sheep. So it actually works out pretty decent. Okay, extra turn. I love it. Maybe I get an extra turn on my Rotos too. That'd be awesome. Nope, no extra turn for me. Here goes the block revive nonsense. Very soon. Sheep faction, exactly. Can't block revive the sheep faction. So you got block revived. Yep. 
Cool. So it's all of his abilities that do block the revive. Oh, no. I was hoping I had the ability ready. I don't. Dutch is going to kill me. Well, not, not kill me. The Rotos is going to kill me. Box Revival is passive, yep. That was a good pick then. I need to remember how much stuff Constantine does, specifically to the factions that I bring. Actually, I may even just start using him. Well, I don't know, because Duchess is so popular, so is Rotos. Okay, got her. Uh, that's not great that my crew tracks is out and about. Now she's back. I don't think there's any way I really win this, honestly. Not right now. Use Constantine and Vlad. I feel like if Constantine gets banned, does Vlad do a whole lot? That's cool. That was a good game. Nine, level 98. Whoa, I got dropped back down to silver one. What kind of shenanigans are these? Let me see his player power. I bet you it was pretty low too. Yeah, 8.4. I like that a lot. That was really cool. Thinking Nithui's better than... Yeah, well... Constantine hits harder though, right? Like quite a bit. But he blocks revival on everybody. Duchess pick, okay. Constantine's better. All right, so. Krutraxa once again. Gotta keep using her. Let's see if we can get Krutraxa plus Necrit. Maybe I even test out some uh, Gofford stuff as well. True, can't crit, crit against Harima. Duchess plus... Let's try the Gofford play, actually. He's, he's built. But where is he at? How to be good in live arena as a new player really is not much, honestly. If you don't have many champions to choose from, live arena is not going to be the best thing for you to focus on. Just do, just do classic arena. Don't even worry about live. So far, so good. Quandale, so far, so good. We're one-to-one -one as far as the win-loss. Trying some new stuff, though, so not a huge deal. Not super concerned about the win rate right now. Um, if I bring Sifi, I think I have to ban the Duchess. Right. If not, got, I could probably get my probably get my crew tracks a band. It's just gonna be a long fight. I bet. This is not the best team, but I'm trying some new stuff. Taras is going to be a pain, but I think Duchess, I just have to get rid of her. Because if not, okay, that, that actually worked out better than I expected. But if it, it, Gofford as the only damage dealer is not a great situation. Takes forever. He is built to nuke. He is. He does hit hard, but it's not always hard enough for him to actually kill. Sometimes he can, sometimes he doesn't. It just really depends. I guess she's going to kill my uh, Krutraxa. Very cool. Haha, -ha, you're not going to kill my Krutraxa, actually. We got the old Gofford block damage there, buddy. And a stun on her. <laughs> H 
I'm surprised he didn't kill him. One HP left. I really wish I wasn't stunned right now, though. That's for sure. That did actually work out pretty well, though, to be honest. The stun on the Elhane, everything like that. The Mighty Uko is definitely tankier than the Arbiter, right? Dang. She absolutely erases him. Should have paid more attention to the turn meters there. Sheeped again? What is this? Crew tracks, you get a 100% chance to be sheeped every time I've done that A2 ability? She's gotten sheeped from it. How is that even possible? That counterattack was sick, though. That doesn't even make sense, though. Oh, Taras, don't get another turn, dude. Don't get another turn. Dang it. Got back around for another turn. I gotta play, play out my reses. Smart. I don't need to protect my Duchess. I'll protect Crutraxa when she comes back. My Duchess is gonna be fine. I could be wrong, though. I could have just ruined it. Maybe protect Gofford. He could actually turn the match back around, honestly. He could stun everybody. He does He does hit pretty hard. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this little dwarf dude does. I got a lot of confidence in my Duchess, though. Could be misplaced. We'll see. All right, Gofford, I need you to show something good here, buddy. All right, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. Let's see, A2, stun everyone. Okay, we got, we got some decent stuns off, but then Mighty Uko's going to friggin' do his res again. He does smack, though. He does smack pretty hard. All right, well, there we go. Lost another one. No more losses. We're done with those. Done with those losses. Level 90. Okay, this might be a decent place, maybe, to make me stop losing. I wonder if I should change up crew. Oh, I need, to, I need to look at her masteries again. Her masteries may just be way wrong. At least we gotta see Gofford run around with his stompy legs. Exactly. He is he he is built decent, so I'm kinda of surprised that actually that stun in the beginning really messed him up. Let's go. We'll try we'll try a similar team again, actually. Yeah, for sure, Jay. Glad to have you here, dude. He got stunned twice, so, I mean, it was kind of a disservice to Gofford, if we were being honest. Lysandra and Arbiter? What is this, speed team? What in the world? I don't really want Crutraxa, honestly. Hedgy time? Yeah, right. If I had a hedgy mine, I'd do it for sure. Duchess 10x worth pulling for. If you're close to Mercy, I don't see why not, but 10x for 
affinity shards or affinity champs is just so so low of a chance of you actually getting the champion but if you have shards you maybe you're close to mercy duchess is an amazing champion especially in the current live arena stuff Gofford, he is good he just doesn't really pack enough damage to be the only damage dealer in the team so how bad does getting rid of their arbiter just mess their team up That's who I get rid of, right? That's I guess, well, maybe my Candrafon. Okay, no, gets rid of my Duchess. Interesting. My Candrafon alone can solo the team, probably. If you even get a Lego, yeah. You know this is super weird for him. He's like, okay, we got all these bombs and Mithral is about to take a turn. That was, that was a decent hit from Trenda there for sure. All right, Goffred, you do the last hit here, buddy. Maybe. Dang it. Dang it, didn't even let Gofford do his hit. Disrespect. All right, we got another plat player. Let's get back up into 1500 plus. Gofford pick, yes or no? What do you guys think? Do we run Gofford? Actually, I have to do Crew Traxa. So it's going to be Gofford and Crew Traxa locked in if I do that. Go, go, Duchess, Crutraxa. Okay, so they got all their support champions picked already, which make means that I just go Rodos, and then we go Necrit. It's a very risky thing to pick all your sport champions right in the beginning, I feel like. Because then you can't you can't really flex to other strats. Okay, this was this is interesting. The Gaius could mess me up. Possible. The Kaimar is going to strip me, I guess. Okay, so I mean, he could, he could possibly, if if his Kaimar strips my crew tracks, so he could definitely do some work. So that was actually decent. His Kaimar stripped everybody, though. Got a decent shield on Crew Traxa right now. Okay, so some more bombs about to come in. Yeah, I think I lose this. Maybe. I seen Shinny using Iron Braga, but I wasn't for sure how good it was. I didn't see too much of it. Okay, woke everybody up. Very cool. Does Necrit die to the bombs? If he dies, everybody dies. Okay, yeah, everybody's dead. Nice! Don't get bombed very often. That wasn't my plan to lose, though. Definitely not my plan to lose. You're so dead, I know, dude. I know. He 
She's dropping Brogan on him to damage, yeah. Wow. Okay. That guy is Kaimar stuff. That messed me up. That really messed me up. How does... So, so bad. It is so, so bad. I got cocky with the UDK. And I was like, you know, this is... <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. And then Kaimar comes in and strips literally everybody. It's all good. Back to Kutraxa. Gotta keep trying her. If she gets a turn, maybe we'll do pretty good. I guess we're, what, one in like four now? Oh my gosh, this is awful. Kutraxa, you're about to be retired before you get even trod out, girl. Duchess and Kandrafon. Necrit and... Rodos would be a good pick, but I really want to ban the Warlord. How can you always have 150 plus viewers and less than 20 likes? That's a good question, Mateus. How about we get to uh, 21 likes, guys? If you all are enjoying it, just hit that like button. Go down there real quick. Hit that like button. If you like watching me lose, because that's what's happening right now. 100% what's happening right now. All right, so last damage dealer, we'll go Rodos. Um, as far as what I ban here, can the Kandrafon just wreck me? Probably. I really want to get rid of the Warlord. I really hate the idea of Warlord being here. But I also really hate the idea of Taras being here. We have A1s on champions that are pretty good. Taras Marichka. I hate that team so much. We have no increased attack. Hopefully it doesn't come back to just ruin me. Uh, no real reason? Ah, uh, maybe. Actually, yeah, let's do the A2. We'll strip. Wait, no, because that was actually pointless because she can just cleanse. I forget that she can do that also. She can do crazy stuff plus cleanse. Oh, but yeah. Kandrafon tries to buff and can't buff. She can cleanse, right? Maybe she had already used it. Well, I guess later Kandrafon, right? We'll just use the A3 here. I'm going to use her A2 to start getting worked up in damage anyways. So, actually, can we break that? That'd be sick. We're gonna get all our turns locked out anyway, so. What's going on, Pino? How are you doing? Do we just drop her? Oh, man. Okay, Crew Traxa, you've earned your place. You've earned your place back. You're doing good. Extra turn, and we're good. Okay, sweet. We just gotta go for the Warlord kill. He's on auto, is he? No, I, might be. Might be. Oh, sweet, he left. Krutraxa smacks with that A1 ability. We'll get back up into Silver too, and then we'll be good. Have I faced you? I have not. No one's using Shimnath yet that I've seen. Not in live arena. I, well, yeah, nobody. Nobody. Maybe in bronze, and I forgot about it, but I don't think at all, actually. Okay. Kandrafon and Pytheon. What's going on, Depope? How you doing? Should have brought Rhonda. I know, right, dude? Nukers are in tight supply this meta. Oh, yeah. All right. So, we have two damage dealers. Um, probably last spot. Could be a lockout champion. Got to be mindful of that. My Rodos isn't going to be terrific against this setup. By no means. Um, 
I would love to start getting Valkyrie into my teams, but it might be, might be kind of difficult. So, no Kandrophon. Really much of a use to bring. Bring my Leoris. And then... Wait. Let's go, let's go Godfred. Why? Let's, wait, no, 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 no. Let's not go Godfred. Uh, let's go Leoris, maybe? Oh, uh, dang, I, I, I waited way too long there. I thought about going Godfred, and then I realized his entire team is Red Affinity, and Godfred is going to have a horrible, horrible time fighting that team. So the Godfred pick was uh, quickly changed. UDK. I really couldn't care less about UDK. I think we just go Harima Ban, right? All right, so there we go. Put Sifi in the lead for the extra polymorph chance. You face six people using Shimnath, and now as soon as you see Shimnath, it is instant ban, really? You that scared of her? You got a five star on Crutrax and have been considering gearing her up for Lavarina. If I had a five star uh, Awakening on Crutrax, I would 100% be using her more. Like, I'm just trying her out now. But that's a really good awakening. I kind of wish they banned my Leoris because my Leoris is not very good. Um, somehow he has less HP than my Crutraxa. Which is really weird. So I guess we just... I guess we just a a a one here, yeah. That's all we do, and then here we just kill the Pythia maybe. Oh, that was that was super close. I'm really actually surprised that he didn't die. One HP. We need to glyph up some flat attack there, get extra thirty attack, and then we win, right? Extra thirty attack, and we're good to go. I really just want to protect my crew tracks, so. We can kill Pythion next turn. Yukarl or Vlad? Um, just need Soul Reaper? Yeah, true. Just need any blessing, honestly. Uh, Yukarl or Vlad? Yukarl's cool, but I think Vlad's probably better. But I'm not sure if either one of them are really great as like your only nuker. Vlad has higher multipliers? Sweet, yeah. Definitely, definitely a good showcase of uh, Crutraxa versus UDK. Doesn't really care that much about him. I'm, s I'm kind of surprised we didn't just one-shot him, but Necrit coming in with this is definitely going to just get rid of Pytheon. Okay, Sifi, you uh, took a little bit more damage there than you should have. 100%. Okay, so... We get the kill here, and we don't get to protect Sifi. I think I just have to protect Sifi, right? Yeah. Yo, Necrit, what'd you do? Didn't even protect her. You just, you just let her die. You just let her go. All right, we're just going to try this A2, see what happens. It's not going to do very much damage, though. Dang it. All right, so we'll just get rid of Necrit. I can't kill Pytheon through the Necrit's protection, but we can kill Necrit, and now we kill Pytheon. Now we just have a Kandrophon left. Okay, did some decent damage to him. If we could actually lose the Veil there, we'd be fine. I think we still win, though. That fear feels bad, though. It really does. Whose turn is it? Wait, no. He's not supposed to have another turn. What the heck? Yo. What? Did you just build Vlad with, Vlad with accuracy? Or... Okay, we, just, we definitely killed a UDK here.
I'd probably, well, usually, usually whenever I build hybrid champions, I build them mostly for damage and then throw like maybe two to maybe 300 accuracy on them. It depends, I guess, on who, but create close with accuracy, but I'll get a little bit of accuracy. Not very much though. My crew tracks us somehow thinks that a little bit of accuracy is enough to land her weaken every single time because she's been getting sheeped a lot. Where's she even at? There she is. She has 168 accuracy and has landed it more than I would like. Kind of would rather her have Cycle of Revenge, honestly. I like this stuff to be changed for real. Let's see. Free reset. Uh, let's do some extra damage against shields. That sounds cool. And then first hit. That stuff. Cycle of Revenge. Cycle of, yeah. That. Cool. <laughs> okay, fool. <laughs> Dang, a little aggressive there. Gotta pick up counterattack stuff. Extra damage. More damage from her A1. Boom. I think we're good now. More turn meter boosting and stuff. I like that a lot. All right. 1503. Back to 399. We're okay. We're okay right now. 9.2, 22. Dang, that's a huge difference in player power. 9.2, 22. All right, crew tracks, so we're going to give you a good showcase here. Have you tried out Mashal and Lavarina? No. If you build him around a Hex team, he can do some great damage, and then True Fear can shut down some champs. That's kind of cool. Nah, you're good, Chapa. I'm just messing with you. 17. Oh my dang, what the heck? This is a quite the difference in ranking. I didn't even realize that. All right, so. Maybe we try a uh, actual team here. So maybe maybe my crew tracks it doesn't get playtime right now. But maybe she does. I don't know. Maybe she's just that good. Maybe she always deserves playtime. With this, I really want to save my last spot for a potential champion that will shut them down. Um, Marichka plus... Marichka's going to be bad if I see her. Let's think about this one. Okay. I think I got a plan. I say I got a plan, but I probably don't actually have a plan at all. Crew Traxa, where are you at, girl? You're going to get your time to shine, but you really need to do good with this, okay? Don't blow it. Mithrala. I've used her a few times. Against bomb teams, I, I will throw her in there. The issue is if I pick her soon, they just pick, um, if I pick her soon, they'll just go into more to macabre and then it's just terrible. All right. So this is pretty rough, honestly. Um, let's, let's go see if I guess at least we can cleanse the Rotos or something. As far as the bands, hmm, this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting one. Crutraxa doesn't care about UDK. Rodos really, really cares about UDK. Does she ban Crutraxa? I really doubt it. A non-awakened, non-ascended anything Crutraxa. Nobody's banning that, are they? Put Sifi in the lead for some extra polymorph potential. So yeah, I don't I don't really care about UDK with Crutraxa. My opponent is 28th in the world. All right, well. Okay, cool. So my only champions who could have... Oh, okay. Actually, Necker could have proc Polymorph. Um, do I get the... Yeah, I don't have reaction. If I did, if I had reaction on Crutraxa, I'd probably wait to do this increased speed thing. But can I snipe down this... No, I can't snipe down the Seafy, but there's no reason to not do this ability first. Let's see what she can do with this A1 to the Seafy. Absolutely nothing. Wait. Yeah, she had a turn already, right? Let's see if he took a turn and... 
Maybe she uh, got some turn meter boosted there. It's going to be a while before we get past this UDK, though. That's for sure. All right, Taras. Go ahead and kill me, buddy. There's no way he kills everybody. There we go. Sweet. All right, so we have Sifi and Duchess. I want to get rid of them both, honestly. Oh, sweet. Okay. Doesn't matter. Gretrexa doesn't ignore it. She hits, what, three or four times on the A1? So she kind of... She, the first hit goes to UDK, and the other hits bypass it. So it's not great versus UDK, but it's not terrible. And she hits hard, too. She ignores, like... 50% of the defense, I think. Yo, what happened to my champs? They were there, and then they weren't there. Strange. 10 million player power? And is 29th in the world right now? Wow. The champs went shopping and didn't invite Rodos. I know. It, it just left Rodos. They're like, peace out. We ain't dealing with this. Imagine having the two best nukers in the game. Yeah, Taras makes no sense. Taras, is, especially when you have so many buffs on him. Like, that, that AoE just hits so hard. Is there a champion I personally want to see rebalanced? Yeah, Taras. I really want to see him rebalanced. As far as a champion who's underrated, do I want to see rebalanced? Um, I can't think of one right now, but there's, I'm sure there's a lot. Like the one that I have. Like buffed. HP nukers. I mean, Magnar is kind of viable, but yeah. I'd say Magnar is pretty viable. Taras. Very, very viable. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's true. Pixneal. 18 books is crazy. Taras is just... His issue is that he's so good with all of his abilities. And then when you throw in Marichka, it's... Now he's so good with all of his abilities and he... Ally attacks if you hit her, or counter attacks if you hit her. And then he joins in her ally attacks. It's like so much craziness. I do like Ronda versus Taras, kind of. I don't know why. But I just, I guess, like losing, like suffering or something. Nah, she can block his actives and passives, which is kind of cool. Sometimes. But. I might just go my Kandrafon. And then... Mighty Uko, I guess. I don't even have Necrit yet. That was a goofy decision. Yeah, Uko against Taras gives you some chance to win. Placing those stuns, yeah. Krato deletes Taras, does he? Use Magnar for one match. Uh, Magnar's not geared right now. He's missing... Everything except for boots and a helmet. Why does he have boots and a helmet on? I have absolutely no clue. All right, so we have a Mortu Macabre here. I think I know what to do here. No, I don't actually. Because Mortu will still send one of his block revives onto UDK. Yeah, they gave Taras the Sand Devils a nuke uh, mistake. Exactly. Mmm, that's interesting. Okay, he could he could counter then. That'd be cool.
I don't have Corrado. I just don't have him. All right, there we go. Pumba. Later, buddy. We, we st How do we steal the stone skin from Mortu? That's my question. How does that make sense? I, I don't really care. I mean, I like that we did, but he didn't even get a turn. He just, I guess he got a buff place when Duchess did the res. This is unfortunate because our crew tracks is probably dead now. There's there's no way Peril procs, right? Not on the first time. It never procs for me. All right, so I guess we A2 and hope somebody dies. Nah, I don't think anybody dies here. There's no way. I don't think I can one-shot the Uko. My candy's not that good, unfortunately. Somebody's dying here. Someone is dying here. School is A3. Uh, actually, let's just kill the Uko. Oh, no, we didn't kill him. Wow. Yo, we got the stun of the Mortu. That is beautiful. If he gets stunned and he proc Peril, can he use Peril next turn, I wonder? No. Okay. I didn't think so, but I'm, I thought before that... The Mortu skipped a turn, didn't use Peril, and then the next turn I didn't even hit him, and then he had it. Peril only lasts one turn. That's what I thought. Too many revivers for me to win this one? No, definitely not. I'll get it. It just take a little bit longer than I might like. So Duchess and Pythion have both, both already used their res. Pythion more recently. I should actually just get rid of the more two, honestly. Next chance I get, I need to just kill him. Contraction was your first void? Awesome. He definitely proc'd it this time. No way he didn't, right? Yeah. And that was the best play, too. It was against my Contraxa. Because I was going to kill him next turn. Now, I'm, I'm, now it may just be lost. Ah. Dang, it's just that Duchess is a lot tankier than I'd like. That's good on him for sure. My Kandrafon needs a little bit of a, a little bit of a change. He's not hitting that hard, unfortunately. Revive blocked. Yeah, I know that. Is this you having fun? Is this me having fun? Oh, it is. Yes, I love this. What's up, Blade? I feel like it is bugged though, Preston, because I'm pretty sure I've had times where. More troops peril shouldn't be active, and then he has it the next turn somehow. Nah, that, that would just be goofy. Candy finds like a noodle. 
More two always has peril. When you're going against him, he does, yeah. And uh, Uko also always gets stun on my team, except for when I'm using him. Like, I can never get stuns off when I'm using him. Gosh. You know, I'm not doing that no more. That was, that was GG. I, my Candorphon is just a little noodle. It's like a little noodle. That's all it is. Very nice. Very nice, buddy. Uh, the players are at least in gold. You have something like a ten percent win rate against level hundred players. Dang, change, change, charge candy. He needs to get. He needs to get boosted. He's a uh, kind of a wet noodle against those all res teams. Definitely difficult, especially with Pythion. I mean, Pythion reduces damage as it is plus strength in. It's a pain, uh, but we're still going with the Crutraxa stuff because she can erase. How are these rounds of fights going? I've, I've lost more this round of fights than I ever have, Laszlo. You never ban Candy? You're not scared of him? Some Candrophons are scary. Some are. Not mine, but some. All right, so we have... I want to ban Warlord, but it may change a little bit later on. Go Necrit. Go Necrit and... Uh, let's just go Rodos. You know, let's let's go, Rodos. Feel like you can, he can't kill your team. If you have Duchess, it's very difficult for Candorfon to kill the team because it's it's hard for Candorfon to kill a Duchess. And then we'll go here. Let's go, Cardio. Ban the Warlord because I absolutely hate being locked out for eternity. The Necrit, okay. D does he stay speed tuned faster than me? Kind of doubt it. Are there ways to manipulate Polymorph? Like, use it to your advantage? Uh, I mean, I, earlier I did by accident. I used my Crutraxa, and she got Polymorph on herself, and then the Constantine wasn't able to block her revive, because if he, or he wasn't able to kill her, and then block revive, because if he tried, then she would just break the sheep. But I wouldn't say it's very consistent. He's fast and swift parry. He's like 3... 310 or so, I think. Maybe a little bit slower. So she, he's not. She's not. He's not super fast. Just fairly fast. We'll save this a two for the next turn. When she actually gets rid of stone skin. That was an interesting choice. Yo, what in the world, Kandrafon? What was this? What was the counterattack even from? The heck? I guess he. Wait, what happened? I guess he. Oh, I guess he got an extra turn from killing my Crutraxa. Crutraxa did more damage than Rotos there. One seventy-three to sixty-two. Back and forth. Fifteen hundred out of fifteen hundred. Into fifteen hundred out of fifteen hundred. 1569. It's a little bit closer to what I'm actually at. Versus 1700, for sure. Ooh. Do I do it? Let's go. This. And. Okay, yeah. So he has three supports already? 
I can go more to and have a maybe a relatively safe match into the Uko. But I don't really want to have a eternity match that just goes on forever. Not a big fan of that. Because my because more two sometimes procs peril and sometimes he doesn't. Okay, so looks like he's going this. Okay. Cardio would have been good here for me. What's going on, Quirk? How are you doing? Yeah, exactly. If it pick Peril, more two Peril won't proc. Yeah. That is very true. Peril just never proc. All right. Who do we uh, snipe down here? I guess technically probably the Hefrak, right? Eh, definitely not going to be able to kill him. Let's work on the Necro. There's no way I actually kill him, though. Yeah. I was going to say 100%. It's going to block that stuff. We'll protect the Rodos. The Hefrak may kill my Duchess, though. I was really hoping that she would actually proc reaction. Because she hasn't taken a turn yet, has she? Or did she? Okay, she's just dead now. Nice. Should have gone with Georgia. My Georgia's not geared. She did get a turn. Yeah. We're going to take the hit from this big A3, maybe? Dang, he's not killing him. What the heck? Come on, dude. We gotta use the alley attack and actually get something going here, buddy. Did y'all see how many times my mighty Uko earlier got his stun landed? I think he landed it like twice the entire match. And I don't think my Rotos has got a single turn. He may get a turn here. Okay, we get, we got a turn. We finally got a turn. Is it going to matter? I don't think so. We're going for the long shot plays here. Got an extra turn. No. Rotos v Rotos and my Rotos is gonna lose. Dang it. That uh that was that was interesting. That could have been that could have turned out differently. If my Rotos would have counterattacked, it would have been done. Man. Rotos popped off though when he finally got a turn. Just uh finally getting a turn was the prop the hardest thing there. With the stuns from that mighty Uko. He lands it hundred percent of the time. My lands it zero percent of the time. That's enough complaining there. All right. Kutraxa. Let's try her. It, it was actually, it was a very close match for sure. All right. So Kandrafon plus a Warlord. Did you book Kutraxa? I did. She's been booked for a long time for me. Let's go Necrit plus. He, he can definitely go into a UDK or something. But guess what? I don't really care about UDK. He's fine. They go UDK. My crew tracks it just basically ignores it. And honestly, if he goes... I think I, I think I got a different plan this time. Except for the fact the Duchess is probably in stone skin. Hey, 
Hey, Taylor Sullivan, what's going on, dude? I've hosted you a few times on Twitch. What's your Twitch name? Okay, Helicath and Mighty Uko. Cool, cool. Let's go. Let's go the full aggression team. Just all out Russian. Ta oh, okay, Taser. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I remember that. It's been a it's been a while since you've streamed on Twitch, isn't it? At least on raid. It's been a long time. Ban the nuker? Huh. <laughs> that would have been a better idea. I was so focused on the warlord. Wow, how did I miss that? We'll just kill the nuker. All right, so there we go. The nuker problem solved. Hellcath is the nuker. That could definitely be. That could definitely be his his other nuker. But you know what I'm not I'm not gonna do here. You know what I am gonna do here. I got no choice. I have to. Oh yeah, Live Arena is a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. I don't think Helicath is a nuker, but I don't think he's going to nuke hard enough to actually kill this team. Right? She doesn't ignore block damage or anything, does she? Nope, she sure doesn't. Did forget about that a little bit. Everybody I hit is going to be counterattacked by Helicath, which is definitely unfortunate. Rotos doesn't care. It's a little tickle, though. He does ignore block damage and shields with A1. Who does? Who tracks it? Helicath's A1, okay. I mean, does Krutraxa ignore block damage with anything? I think I give it a turn, right? There's no way I kill the Duchess, and then I won't get any benefit from that other ability yet. Extra turn, really? That's not what I wanted. What's the Candrophon jumping in here and doing? How? What, what was that? So I, I hit the Helicath. He definitely shouldn't have joined in, right? Unless my... Uh, uh, I guess my... It may have been the Candrophon slap that happened earlier. The same thing. The big candy hit. Extra turn. My Rotos gets a turn. And then the Candrophon gets a turn. I just keep missing that if that's the case. Strange, though, either way. Extra turn from killing Kratraxi. Yep. That's what it was. I keep forgetting that because it's like a gap between when it happens and such. Another uh, big A3. Oh, no, no block damage this time. Okay. Cool. There, go, there goes Cardiel. Not a huge deal, hopefully. Yep, that's what it was. That's what it was. So it happened earlier too. I just forgot about it. I think we should do the big stuff onto Uko here, right? Because I can kill Duchess with Rotos. Uko's going to be a problem, though. Possibly. I'm not sure who res most recently, though, either. Okay, so Duchess can't res, obviously.
Big Candies A2 coming up. So we're just going to A2 here. Hope for the best. I feel like we could kill him. You watch with ad block on? That doesn't matter to me. Yeah, go for it. Candy's got gips. Candy got extra turn. Sweet. Got 14 minutes left. We gotta get a few more wins, guys. We gotta, we have to get a few wins before this rolls over. 1501. There's no way I can end this because I was at like 1493 or something when this started. Definitely should have banned the Candrophon, though. That was definitely the best play, Cloudy, had I done that. Actually, no, the match, he could have stalled the match. The Candrophon ban would have been smart if he was going to leave, but if not, it would have been a really long match. Because the constant block damage. Okay. And it, she, was a, she was a streamer. She was a content creator, I think. Maybe she still is. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. You're 100 points ahead of you? Or I'm 100 points ahead of you? Rose has an ability, though. Yeah, at some point, that's true. If he can... Yeah, if he gets enough A2s off, definitely. I'm not going to reveal too much shit. Have I been buying refills? I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've already bought one or two this stream, I think. Hefrak and Warlord. Good old Warlord. I love it. So. Let's go. Do I, do I go keep going Krutraxa? It's, it's, that's the video. This is today's video is Krutraxa. So we're going to go her. And then we're going to go... So, I'm trying to think what I'm most worried about the next champions being... This sets up for a decent more two pick if he goes that. Probably Necrit and maybe a Rotos. I, I kind of want to use UDK, but a part of me doesn't. Does Sishia Teetor team work in Spider 10 hard? I'm not for sure. I don't have either one of those. I want to say people have got it working, and it's a pretty fast team. But I'm not for sure what all champions you need with it. I knew I should have picked the UDK. But she could have just gone something different. Definitely. So I'll go Rotos here, ban the Warlord. The Phantom Touch Blessing is interesting. Very interesting. Who do I think is getting banned here? Probably, probably Duchess. Necrit. Makes sense. Retracts is pretty weak without Necrit. Um, though, if my Mighty Uko is faster and we do get some stuns off, that would be awesome. So, the they have no cleanse. So, my goal is to obviously strip, maybe get some stuns. Block, deep, block buffs would be great. Did not get it, unfortunately. Stun on me. Beautiful. Stun on two. Wait. Stun on three of my champions, right? Wow. That's incredible. Super, super cool. It's okay though. Uko's not dead. Oh, oh wait. Oh man, Uko is dead. These shenanigans. Outplayed. I know. I see that. I just give him an extra turn if I go there. Okay. All 
All right, so I'm stuck in a between a rock and a hard place here. I can kill this Duchess. But then the Hefrak just kills me. Gosh, dang it. That is so stupid. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was... A2 Duchess? She... I was still dead because the Hefrak would just A2 me next turn, right? Just single target A1. Never leaving Silver 1. I see that. Man. I think my Uko stun set's broken. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just broke. Nothing else to it. It's just broke. Doesn't make sense. It's all good, though. Is Akrizia any good for Arena? I think she's just hard stuck in Hydra. And every other PvE content of the game. Usually max HP damage dealers aren't that good for Arena. You getting that UA sponsorship money yet? What is that? UA. What's UA? Alright, so for me... What do I go here? Under... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, my hat. My hat that I've worn for years. Goodness. I think it's time for me to get off here, guys. All right, um, we're going to pick. Let's see, who do we pick? Uh, Krutraxa. Of course, got to go with Krutraxa. And then we're going to YOLO into a Rotos pick. I'm from Kentucky. Unfortunately, no Under Armour sponsorship money yet. I, sh I need to email them, though. It's a ton set? Yeah. They, I, that's what I'm thinking, dude. I've worn the same hat forever. How's Crutrax have been working? Well, I've I started the stream at 1490 like two, I think. And I'm gonna be ending the stream at like fifteen hundred. So I've gone up like net ten points. Not because of her. I hope not. Alright. YOLO. Probably because of my bad my poor choices. Oh, this was a bad decision, honestly. Uh this is risky, risky. Um Actually, very risky. Because the Elhane will kill me through Necrit protection. And then if Duchess gets banned, I think I actually have to ban the Elhane. I should have brought another Rezzer. I could ban the Arbiter. I'm probably faster. But the Mighty Uko, he's not gonna... There's no way he uh, stuns me, right? Yeah, I'm not... That is true. Her A1's really good. Um, the issue is, is that people start lapping me just a ton, and then I just can't keep up, and they just win. But uh, maybe I do need to get back to that. Because you're definitely right. Her A1 is just so good. Hey, his Uko's like mine. Doesn't play stun. Probably doesn't have a stun set, but... If he did, it didn't work. We may have time to do one more match after this, if we can make it pretty fast. Alright, so here we go. Let's see. Let's work down the Mighty Uko, possibly. Broop, nope, not quite. Almost. Almost. Very close, very close. Oh, he does have a stun set. Hey, there it goes. Start, I'm starting to work now. Extra turn. Beautiful. This is going to let me wipe out a few of their champs. That's, that's cool. My protected champion was stunned. A Lava Arena gambling website? Not yet. Probably going to be coming soon, though. Let's do the smarter play. Live Arena gambling coming soon. There we go. Sweet. Now, we can end. We can end at 1507. Can we do it? 20 gems. Got to try the refresh. 
But you're definitely right, Tommy. Crutrax's A1 is, well, basically, it's 50% of her kit. Maybe even 75% because the cooldown of the A2. Wait, this guy has a plat trophy. Cool. Yumiko. Let's see, let's see. What do you guys like to, or which which one do you dislike the most, Yumiko or Warlord? If they have Sifi, I dislike Warlord more. With, um, but in general, I think in general I dislike Warlord more. Yeah, Yumiko, Yumi. She's always faster than Warlord. True. All right, so. With this, they have their three support champions, right? Yumiko plus Kaimar, huh? That's just going to be a lot of resets. A whole lot of resets. Let's go see. Actually, no, let's go. Where's Crew Tracks? Come here, girl. Let me, let me get you in here. See if you ban. Most likely. Depending on who they pick here. And big buffs is huge. That is true. I think in regular arena, I, I click on Warlord more. I fight more Warlords in classic arena because Cupidus beats them. But in live arena, I definitely... not a fan, Actually, I'm not a fan of either of them, honestly. So here, I think I just know what I go. And I think I know what gets banned. Right? I have to do this. Now, Rhonda's going to smack. She's going to do some work for sure. But if I get a turn, that's the key thing here. If I get a turn, is it that big of a deal? Ban Rhonda? I think I ban Sifi. Rhonda is going to be nasty. She really, she really can be. But, okay, so didn't ban the UDK. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I should be faster than that. My, my, my champions are really fast. Oh, didn't get slept. That's unfortunate. For him, not for me. Okay. We're good, right? Maybe we can get another match in. Be awesome. Probably not. We got two minutes left. You love to have Krutraxa. She definitely she she is a very solid damage dealer. <sighs> I don't think we're gonna be able to get another match in. We'll see though. All right, crew tracks in. Let's see some something really good here. It, I... Oh, we might we might actually be able to. Oh, sweet! We got another one. Crew tracks uh, kills the sheep and then kills the Kaimar after the sheep with their extra hits. Does this thing mean you take your crew tracks out of her vault and rank her up? If you don't have other good A1 damage dealers and you struggle against UDK, maybe. Her A1 does mess people up. And she's she's in my George's gear, so she's in pretty decent gear. But uh let's see. We'll go Duchess. Oh, Duchess and a Harima. Oh my goodness. Good old Harima. So we'll go. Last fight of the day. We have to use Krutraxa again. Even though it's a bad decision, I know that because of the Harima. So basically he's thinking he has to ban her I have to ban his Harima. If I don't, I'm just ruined. And it's probably true. Because Krutraxa is demon spawn. Not gonna do great versus Harima. Duchess is demon spawn, not gonna do great versus Harima. 
Sifi and Yumiko. I'm going to do something that's probably a YOLO play, but I got a feeling I know what this next damage dealer is going to be. The Yumiko, the Sifi, and the Duchess is really setting him up to do, want to do a Rotos pick. Ban them all. I think that's probably the best play. Like, he really wants to do a Rotos pick, right? So for the meta, it's Crutraxa Georgia for me. There we go. I know who's going to get banned. It's going to be my UDK. So I have these four champs to work with. Um, Harima's going to be annoying. They're all going to be annoying, actually. The Duchess. Ah, no. I, it may just be... Because I know, I know he's banning UDK. Harima? You think so? Harima thinks the best option? Harima's the best option, I guess. They're going to be super tanky. Is there any other Void Lego with a hard-hitting A1? I'm sure there is. I don't can't think of any right off the top of my head yet. Um, Turvold. Turvold's a Void Lego with a hard-hitting A1. Been super popular, too, recently. Yeah, that, that, that's going to definitely smack my Duchess and just kill her. I think I just... I, I'm pretty sure I just lose here. Unless my Roto starts to pop off somehow. It's going to be very difficult. I really need that extra turn to happen. The Yumiko ban may have been the best play here, honestly. Yep, Turbo beats UDK comps. You just don't have him. Dang. Inquisitor Shamel hits hard on his A2. Multi-hitter there. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. The Yumiko ban may have been the one I had to go, honestly. A good old sleep. Can I kill Yumiko? I bet I can. Yeah, we sure can. Yeah, that's true. He's very squishy. Double my Duchess speed. My Duchess is 250. I should have hit the Seafy there, because the Duchess did the res before. Can I kill this war this Rotos? Not quite, but really close actually. Dang! Keep sleeping my Rotos. Sleepy boy Rotos. That feels okay, we got res we gotta resist there, which doesn't matter. She's doing some work there, for real. Uh, Rotos, Rotos, Rotos. One day, buddy, you'll wake up. One day, you'll wake up. All right, Rotos, your turn, buddy. It's your time to shine. Here we go. Get ready. Use your A1 to an extra turn. Ah, uh, you didn't do it. Speed kills? Yeah, no. Lazy, lazy Rotos. I think I'm going to have to go with the Sifi or Yumiko bands, even with Harima on the team. Because the Sifis just constantly keep this decrease the uh, sleep on me. The Yumiko just locks me out. We'll let him hit me. No reason not to. 
Yeah, there's just nothing I could do there. We had a lot of losses today. One, two, three, four, five. Probably like seven or eight, maybe ten. Who knows? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe broke even. I guess ultimately broke kind of even. 1503. Um, but either way, Krutraxa, she's a hard hitting champion. But you do got to make sure you can keep her alive. Let me throw her in here real quick. Curious what she does here. Live arena, all about turn meter manipulation. It is pretty important. Okay, yeah, so she deletes people for sure. <laughs> Actually, I love this. You found fights from previous live arena interval so much easier than this one or the one after. I noticed that some of the uh, some of the time windows are easier than others, definitely. I mean, she oh, that's level sixty five. Okay, well, don't you obviously can't take too much from that. What's most important? Oh, turn meter manipulation. Yeah, I think I just got to be... I got to really think through the uh, Sifi yumiko combo teams. Remember I'm live? Yeah, I know I'm live. I'm about, to, I'm about to jump off. Just a second. Ping to server. Wait. What are you talking about? There we go. Oh, I thought, I thought you were saying live streaming. Remember, I'm live streaming. Well, yeah, of course. Why? How would I not know that? You're talking about the live matches, the ping to server. That hasn't really been much of an issue, I don't think. <sighs> All right. But, guys, with that said, I'm going to jump off of here. We'll play around with tracks a little more. Have you ever played WoW? I have, I have. Yep. I used to play a ton of Arena in WoW. That was my favorite thing to do. What do we end at, though? Ended at 407. So ultimately, not a huge difference. My win rate dropped a little bit. Not significantly, though. Not a massive deal. I'd rather start... I'd rather test stuff and learn different things right now versus get to gold and have to... Or maybe the play is get to gold and then learn everything there. Who knows? But either way, that's fine. So guys... I'm going to hop out for here. Thank you all very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, 69, nice. Yeah, yeah, 69% win rate. There you go, the funny number. Same win rate as you, just more fights. Yeah, 230. Some people up here have crazy amounts of fights. Like, let me see. I think Engine, maybe? No, 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 not him. Somebody had 552. That is a, so many. 300 more than me. But hey, guys, thank you all very much for stopping by. Very, very much appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll uh, be back definitely Wednesday, I believe, same time, 10 to 12 EST, same arena reset window, and some CVC pushing as well. So best of luck, guys, on your CVC stuff tomorrow, if you are pushing. If you're going for the Fusion, we're really close to it finishing, so be mindful. Five days to finish, only a few events left, so be careful with that, and good luck if you pull on the uh, 10x events. What? It's an EST. Yeah, but thanks, guys. Catch y'all later.